First of all, let me say that uh, I'm sure that everybody has been inundated with uh, all of the news from the news media and the uh, federal government, the state government, and I want, I want our residents to know that uh, we have been on top of this at City Hall. Um, myself and city staff has been working along with the governor's office, with the health department and every other organization. And I will tell you that there has been a lot of discussions of our course of action. And then late Friday afternoon, I'm sure everybody was aware that they received notice that all of the uh, schools in Illinois were going to be closed by Governor Pritzker. And I will personally tell you that that was kind of a deciding moment for me when all of the schools were closed. But I will tell you I'm not the type of person that makes rash decisions. I am the type of person that would like to go home and sleep on it for at least a day or two, think about it, and then come back and decide what the plan of action would be. So that is what I did over the weekend. And then, you know, as everybody else is aware, that uh, the casino, casinos were closed in Illinois, the, the restaurants, the bars, and everything else. And uh, I will tell you, when I woke up Sunday morning, I had made my decision of the plan of action that needed to be taken here in the city of Crest Hill. And um, we met with all the employees this morning. Um, everybody was contacted this afternoon from city council, the elected officials. And um, you know, I will tell you that, again, I'm not the type of person that likes to read anything. I'd like to tell you from my heart, and I'd like to tell you off the cuff of what I believe. But this is very important, so I drafted a letter uh, <clears throat> during the day on Sunday, and I would like to share that with everybody that's uh, listening to us on television and uh, tell you the course of action that we are going to implement here at, at City Hall. And um, so with that, if you would just bear with me as I read what I wrote um, over the weekend. Dear residents, I, like you, over the past few weeks have been consumed with the news media and the press conferences concerning the coronavirus. It is evident that this is a serious situation and that we are currently living in some extraordinary times that will cause many disruptions in our daily lives. It is also apparent that this situation will probably get worse before it gets better. As mayor, I am responsible for the health the safety and the welfare of all of our residents and employees. We as a city have been monitoring the daily updates from the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control, and the Illinois Department of Health, and have been included in conference calls with the governor's office regarding the severity of this pandemic. It is apparent, it is apparent that through the actions of President Trump and the federal government and Governor Pritzker and the state government, that both are trying to reduce the amount of interactions that individuals have with one another. With the federal reduction of air travel, the increase of the availability of testing kits, the cancellation of most major sporting events, and now with the closing of several of the entities at the state level, which most recently include the closing of all Illinois schools, the casinos, the restaurants, and the bars to the end of the month. It is evident that they are limiting several venues in which a large number of people attend in an attempt to reduce the interaction and contact between people and are urging people to stay home in an attempt to reduce the spread of the virus. With all of these actions, we as a city of Crest Hill are being proactive in attempting to flatten the curve, which I agree is the best course of action. As you are also aware, the city of Crest Hill has a large number of senior citizens, and it has been reported that our senior, senior population is the most vulnerable and the most at risk to the most serious effects of this virus. I urge all of our residents, especially our senior residents, to limit your activities and to stay in your homes as much as possible. I am aware that this will cause many disruptions to your lives, but we all need to do our part to reduce the spread of COVID-19. 
In response to the guidance from the public health officials regarding the most effective strategies to prevent the spread of illness, the city of Crest Hill is taking the following preemptive measures. Number one, effective tomorrow, Tuesday, March 17th through March 30th, 2020, the city of Crest Hill City Hall will be closed and will be suspending all non-emergency operations. I want you to be aware that there will be no disruptions of emergency public services, which will include the police, the water department, and the sewer department. Number two, per, per our agreement with the Will County Clerk's Office, Crest Hill City Hall will remain open on Tuesday, March 17th, as a polling place for the relocation of the polling place at Willow Falls from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Number three, all public meetings have been canceled for the next two weeks, at which time the, situ the situation will be assessed. These meetings include the March 23rd work session and the March 30th work session and the March 18th administrative hearing. Number four, garbage service will pre be provided on your regularly scheduled day. Number five, residents should still call 911 in <clears throat> cases of emergencies and call 815-741-5111 for all other non-emergency events. If you are not already registered for the city's emergency notification program, smart message, please sign up at city of Crest Hill forward slash 166 forward slash emergency dash alerts dash sign dash up. Number seven, the public should continue Continue to call the city's general phone number at 815-741-5100 and phone calls will be directed to the correct staff person who will respond in as timely a manner as possible. Questions can also be sent to webadmin at cityofcresthill.com. Number eight, bill payments may be dropped into the white City of Crest Hill mailbox Next to the entry of City Hall, this box will be emptied daily. As this is a developing situ situation, the city will monitor and assess these protocols and adjust as needed. The city will alert the community via smart messages, city website, community access television channel <clears throat> six, and local news media when the operations suspension period ends. I thank you for your cooperation and your support during this challenging times. May God bless you and keep you in his care. Raymond R. Solomon, Mayor of the City of Crest Hill. I will tell you that we will continue to monitor the situation. We will try to keep everybody as up, as day, up to date as possible. I am sure there are gonna be bumps in the roads that we're gonna to have to deal with and we will, we will try to do those. We will do it to the best of our ability. I know that it's going to be a disruption in the lives of many people with the closing of the restaurants and everything else. I think we all have to uh, take a little patience. This is the best course of action for the city of Crest Hill to take at this time. We need to try and keep this as low as possible before it gets out of hand and we run out of emergency room spaces for people to be helped that really do need the help. So I urge all of our residents to please stay home, cut down on your daily activities, and um, you know, hopefully this will end sooner than later. With that, I'm gonna turn it over to our city administrator, Heather McGuire, if she would like to add any comments and give you a little bit more of how we're planning on going to handle day-to-day -day operations here at City Hall with a limited staff. Heather. Thank you, Mayor. We have set up as many employees as possible to work from home, including laptops and cell phones. We will have a staff member in here on a rotational basis so that we do not have employees grouped together while we're still um, resuming operations here. But there will be somebody in the office every day 
to answer messages, to forward anything out to the departments as necessary. And then we will have all the department heads as well as anybody else that can work from home, working from home with those laptops. So certainly reach out to City Hall if there are questions. Everybody will be checking emails and ensuring that we still can get residents the services that they do need. And again, to our residents, we just ask for your cooperation and your patience in this <coughs> issue. And um, feel free to get a hold of any of us by phone, by emails, however you w wish to. Uh, we will all be available to try and help you out. We're here to work with you, not against you, uh, to try and keep this under control. Okay? Thank you.